Which side would you like to see this up? You're going to have to figure that one out. I'm going to see if you know which side does prosecution sit on. Well, this is this is uh, well, Attorney 101. Here's the thing. I've, what is that? I've been My apologies, Your Honor. Uh, okay. Mr. Ainsley. Hello, Ranger. Um, you wouldn't be busy, would you? I'm at the court case right now. Shit, yeah. Um... I just wanted to ask you DOJ stuff, but if you're busy doing the cool stuff, I can wait. Yeah, we're well, just about to start. Uh, if you want to come by afterwards, that's fine, or uh, uh, I can give you yeah, a call just whenever this ends. Yeah, if you want, just because I need to think about some stuff. I'll right. drop you a message when I'm conscious as such. Uh, not a problem. Because uh, I, I need to my, make sure... I got my body this, cam yeah. on right now, just as a <clears throat> heads up. Uh, so, it was good, just because I wanted to make sure this contract and stuff that I want to get the personal contract as such, it's just every, everything's covered and there's no no way it's faulty or bad as such. Just covers uh, all the boxes. Not a problem. I'll uh, I'll reach out when uh, whenever this case ends. No idea how long all it's right. going to take. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think you can uh, just take C right here. Um, we're gonna get. You're probably not going to arrest security because like it has like there's like three other cops here. You can have a seat. Here. I'm now in charge. Of everything? Everything. So you're Chief Justice now? No. I've abolished it. I can't talk without... The Chief that. Justice of the... Hello, a federal judge. So you're Supreme Overlord? No, federal judge. Oh, just federal judge? Okay. Yes. The current hey, is it right? defendant uh, says he can't talk without his mask. Are you happy for him to wear it? And he can't sign it. No. <laughs> I don't know. Ask him if it's religious. says no it's not religious so why is he all horned up apparently it allows him to speak that's what he just said and he doesn't know any sign language so he Did i just hear a terrorist so uh so he says he's requiring to wear the mask to allow him to speak now uh, he's uh got you know one of them uh i don't know what they're called all mag voice boxes is there a... Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, I guess so. Is there a... a, 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 a... Ah, yes, the deaf woman, come here. Hey, is this a side that cheers for the police? I have updated my voice catalog yes, for you, this um, exact moment. Yes, can you, um, it appears that the Chief Justice might be, um, off his rocker. Can, we can you, um, pump our fists? Mm, 
Can you maybe do something about that medically? Yeah. Like have him like he looked after or him. something? Like maybe have them the police look for him, not to arrest him, but to get him some seventy two hold. Great. Yes, he just took off in a car with a box and he was wearing crocs. I'm rather concerned about the crocs most of all. He does have rather peculiar tastes in clothing, but crocs. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess everybody should be on high alert and take him to whatever mental facility needed to be taken to. For his own well-being, we can't have him walking off. Yes. Because then Joe Biden's going to have to do something about it, and when nobody wants Joe Biden to do anything about it. We can't have Sleepy Joe, Joe doing stuff. Okay. What? What was that? Hello, people. What was that? That paper cord's had seeds, man. What the heck? I think All the, the paper clip from have Microsoft Word is talking about. To... Kyle trying to give him like 10 bucks. He said I could sit courtside. What is he saying? Who is that? Miguel Gonzalez, are you... Are you using some sort of odd... What? Why me? I don't know. You seem like the type of person that would. What? Wearing sunglasses inside. Yeah, because you're so ugly and bright. Oh, ugly, huh? I'm gonna sit down now. He was talking to me, Your Honor. No, no, no. Thank you, you're wonderful. That's all I needed. have to put the paper on top of the desk. I can't see that low. It's quite low. Just make sure to tear it off and put it on the desk. Yeah, I do once in a while. Or I used to stream a lot when I was in EMS. Because uh, my day-to-day, -day, like, as Ryan, just is just a lot of AFK mostly. Not really, you know. The last week we've been uh, <clears throat> moving all the arrest mm. reports from the old oh. Uh, oh, record better. system to a new record system. So I've the last like weeks just been mm. nothing Thank but you. AFK and yeah, the hair. You know, I did I streamed before, like when I went hunting, stuff like that. But now, you know, hunting's not really a thing, at least not for profit. So I figured you know, the chief justice it's not worth it to me to go and do it. So. Instead, we have more on mills. And then, like streaming Bean Machine, like you know, I don't know what he just said. And get one customer, so that's again just a lot of AFK time. So. Uh, I might go uh, get the job for the lumber mill, the wood stuff, and uh, just do a day stream in that, just for fun of it. Until stuff like hunting or maybe diving comes into play, if that ever becomes a thing. All right, yeah. what's the case? I have people to do and things to see. All right, Your Honor. Today we have uh, Mr. John versus the LSPD. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Good evening, he... Your Honor. He's not done. Who? My clerk. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, my, my apologies, Your Honor. I wasn't I using he my was. outside I voice. That, that, that's, that's my apologies. Uh, today, Your Honor, we're here for uh, Mr. John versus LSPD. Uh, Mr. John is here on the charges of... Uh, second-degree murder, 
uh, Vaden Major, possession of dyed bills, felon in possession of firearm, possession of a stolen vehicle. Hmm. Who'd he kill? I do not have that information handy, Your Honor. I apologize. Cop, who do you kill? Your Honor, um, he killed a local citizen that was walking near the courthouse. We don't even have their name. Did their lives not matter to you? Well, to be quite honest, Your Honor, um, I no, it's fine. Their lives don't matter to me. You can sit down. Only in the law, their names don't matter in Alton. Can't just have them going, getting killed. You have blood on my shoe. All right. Let me see here. Okay. Hmm. Incidents. The Chief Justice has laid on a number of bills. Mr. Ranger, make sure he pays those before he quits. It seemed like he was quitting. Quiet quitting, I think they say, since he didn't say anything. All right, Mr. Mask. You're pleading not guilty. You have to verbalize it. All the crimes I have been accused of, I did not do. Hmm, okay. Very good. Way it works. Opening statement, opening statement. Presentation of evidence, clothing statement. Done. Then I decide whatever the hell I want. Okay, go. Good evening, Your Honor. Good evening, citizens. I'm Charlotte Olympia, a prosecutor of the state, and I'm representing the Los Santos Police Department in today's case. My client, Chris McPhee, was the arresting officer of Mr. Rutger in arrest record number 33. Based on the evidence and testimonies today, I believe you have no choice but to find this man guilty. Thank you. I am glitched. Mask man. There you go. Hello, people of San Andreas. My name is Chatterbox. If you call me by my government name, I will tell you are first born. All the Going crimes I got. Killed my first born? I don't have any children, Mr. What's his last name? Rutger, Your Honor. Mr. Rutger. I'm childless, so your threats are empty. Justice moron. I did not kill that man. He was not from the punch that killed him, but possibly from his head hitting the floor after I put it there. Did he just say after he gave him a Pulitzer? I... Translation, please. I believe, Your Honor, he said after he put it there. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, present what you got. All right, so I will be sending to the TV screens the um, arrest record and evidence. And my first witness I would like to call to the um, stand would be Miss Rose Evane. Uh, 
Okay, raising your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Hello, Mr. Dane. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. All right. It is to my understanding that you were present at the um, scene of the murder, correct? Yes. Yes, I was. Could you recall to your best memory the details of the murder? Um, a few of us were standing outside of the courthouse, City Hall, um, by the fountain. And we saw that gentleman over there, uh, Mr. Rutger, um, walking around. We tried not to pay him too much attention because uh, he seemed like he might have some nefarious plans, I suppose. Uh, I had seen him before um, attempt to kidnap one of my friends, so I was wary of him being nearby. Um, after some time of us uh, all standing around, uh, there was a, what we uh, presume to be a local hom homeless man uh, standing at the backside of the fountain, uh, just kind of minding his own business. Um, and Mr. Rutger seemed to have approached the man from behind. Objection. On what grounds? I don't have anything. So you're just going to object to... All right, continue. Um, I saw Mr. Rutger approach the gentleman from behind, and uh, he seems to have gotten in some kind of stance and then uh, very violently, and uh, I mean, I don't know how to put it, but he just he hit him so hard, and the man just fell instantly to the ground, and when EMS arrived, they said he was dead. All right, did he make any threats to you, your friends, or anyone else in the area? Um, verbally, uh, no. Did he, um, change his physical demeanor to be threatening in any way? Uh, towards myself, uh, no, but I do know that he fled from officers. All right, I have no further questions for Ms. Levine. You have any questions, Mr. Rudd? No, right. Can I go? Yes, you can go. Your Honor, next witness I would like to call to the stand, and my final witness will be the arresting officer, Chris McPhee. Raising your right hand, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. All right, Mr. McPhee, how are you today? I'm well, yourself? I'm great, thank you. How long have you been a law enforcement officer? Um, I joined the, well, at the time it was the San Andreas State Police, would have been around... September, I believe, of 2022. So coming up on how many months is that? I want to say six. It is coming up to be six, correct. During that time, have you received what you deem to be sufficient training into understanding the laws and statutes of the state? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Would you say that you are confident in making decisions based on whether they are breaking the law or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say there's been a lot of incidents that I've been involved in, so yeah, I'd be pretty confident in my abilities there. All right. So, could you just recall everything that you witnessed during this? Uh, sure. Um, so. 
the reason I went to the courthouse in the first place was there was a tweet that came out, um, said something about DOJ and having some explosive something. I don't recall exactly. Um, I knew that there were quite a few people at the courthouse as uh, Rose had offered to give me my law enforcement certification earlier that day. Um, upon arrival, I was just chatting with some people there, you know, just hanging out. I believe I got my uh, boating license at the time. Um, right as I was about to leave, I was just sitting in my car looking over some paperwork on the uh, MDT. Um, at what point Rose rushed up to my car um, exclaiming that someone had just killed a man. Um, at what point I observed uh, John Rutger there in the mask um, run away from the scene. Um, as I approached him and tried to just, you know, talk to him, understand what was going on, he um, hopped on a motorcycle, which he had ridden to the courthouse, and then started to take off, at which point I uh, flipped on my lights and sirens, um, and I gave pursuit to him. Uh, I chased him along with... Sorry, excuse me. Um, along with Officer 512, Jacob Belmont, um, and eventually um, Alex Starks joined as well. Um, we chased him all the way down to the docks where he, um, he up, crashed. Objection. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. Your Honor. I Your Honor. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. I only stole that vehicle in fear that the Mexican man would shoot me. Which Mexican man? Are you pointing towards Miguel Gonzalez? Hmm. Apparently, you were trying to shoot him, Mr. Gonzalez. Ooh, that was good. Um, uh, later I hope not. You're a terrorist. To call up Mr. Gonzalez to the stand after Mr. McPhee. No, you already had your witnesses submitted. All Blah -blah. right. I thought that was going to sound better as a sound effect. Didn't work. We really need those. Can you put the uh, on the budget, Mr. Ranger, the you know law and order sound effects, the sound system, please. Thank yes, you. Your Honor. Okay, great. All right. May we continue? Mm -hmm. All right. Continue, Mr. All right. Um. So yeah, pursuit led down to the docks. Um. At what point the suspect. Uh, hit a like a bollard with his motorcycle and he flew off of it um i got out of my patrol car i asked him to put his hands up he ran down uh, ran away a little bit i tased him immediately put him in handcuffs and then at that point um went through basic arrest procedure searched him his car got his id and then took him to mrp for processing Oh, no, sorry. Um, I did not take him to MRPD for processing. At which point we returned to the scene. Um, I had called over the radio for EMS to meet me back here at the courthouse. Um, Mr. Rutger received treatment then, and uh, the local was pronounced deceased. All right. Um, I have no further questions or witnesses, Your Honor. All right. Yes, do you have anything? You can go back. Oh, no, no, no cross and examination here. Justice Moron, I did not kill that man. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, do you have any evidence? Cthulhu? I don't present. Witnesses? Statements. Honestly, belong in a old West Bar more than my courtroom, to be honest. It's on the wall of an old West Bar. Nothing. 
nothing? Is he saying something? He is not, Your Honor. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm going to take that as an. <clears throat> he keeps calling me a moron. I'm not really sure that that's really going to help him. You didn't come very prepared, even not even a lawyer. I don't think I'm the moron here today, Mr. Rucker. All right. Um, closing statements. You can start. Rutker. I would have gotten away with it too. If it wasn't for that loud mouth blonde and her Mexican friend. You're admitting to guilt. Watch out, Yonner. <laughs> oh, give me a reason. I've wanted to shoot somebody in my courtroom. <sighs> I I don't don't wait, wait a minute. House, please. Wait a minute, he just punched me. Okay. Oh. Got my favorite chair. I'm guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Now. In true democratic fashion, we'll vote. Because I can do what I want. I'm the judge. All right. Are you ready? On the count of his murdering whatever, he's, he murdered somebody. It was second degree, right? Yes. Second degree murder. How many months? All right, I'll give you three choices. If you want 150 months, put your hands up. If you want, I'm going to give you three choices. It can be 150, 450, or 800. Okay. All right. All for all for 450. All for 800. Very good. Okay, 800. Okay. <laughs> if you want the maximum sentence for evading major, put your hands up. If you don't, put your hands down. Very good. All right. And if you think he should be charged with contempt of court for attempting to assault me, put your hands up. The, when was the last time somebody rushed the judge? I mean, I at least would have... uh, not since you we didn't had ever do it, though. Your Honor. Yeah, yes, we'll okay, so... Your Shelby Ladyfinger? So, no, no. This Ladyfinger had, just had a terrible lawyer. Um, okay, yes, he'll be charged with contempt of court. And he will get a $62,000 fine and one month in jail. Or a third charge that I'm missing, uh, other than murder and evading. Oh, possession. He has that one too. Hands up for Max, hands down for Min. Uh, Your Honor, there were two different possession charges. Okay, for the weapons. Die bills are after. Okay. Max on that one. But we're going to give a minimum for the die bills. You're paying attention to this? But, chief man? I'm 
missing. Okay, great. Minimum on the die bills. Maximum on the weapon. 800 on the murder. Max on the evading major. 62,000 on the whatever the court thing. And one month for that. And the stolen vehicle, Your Honor. Innocent, he was trying to get away from a Mexican man with a gun. Yes, you're a terrorist. Yes, it does make a, quite a compelling argument. It was a terrorist. What? I do believe that you probably had a weapon, Mr. Gonzalez. You are a 72-time convicted criminal. Are you deaf? Who broke me? You've been convicted in seven. I, I didn't have a gun. I, I don't know if I'd believe that, but we'll. I'm just going to assume you did. I can't convict you for it, because I don't have any proof, but I'm just going to assume you did, and that's why I'm declaring him innocent. I will tell again. The blonde hair woman is next. I'll blow this place sky high. <laughs> mm, terroristic, terroristic threats. <laughs> No wonder Miguel's laughing. He's like, he's getting a horny off of this, Your Honor. <clears throat> Terroristic threats. <laughs> 400 months, $297,000. Oof. Mostly because I need to pay for the insurance on this building in case he blows it sky high, so... All good. Very good. Send Cthulhu down to hell. Okay. All right. I'm gonna... Let's fight him. What? Your Honor, I was arrested by the blonde-haired officer for having a massive cock. Uh, you're gonna saying, have to stop like, the stream. Nobody believes that. Dutch. <laughs> and yeah, stills the judge. Thanks. Oh, well, uh, Alright, everybody, thanks for coming out. I'm gonna stop Earl, the video so I can go. Can you see? You does he does he have a massive member jails. from up there? Uh, all the jail time and all the fines. Sorry. Uh, I would re I would recognize that I would recognize that bald head anywhere. I've sent him to prison before. <laughs> 